my channel playing with Maserati and scripture writing by Honey. I am going to be doing a creative devotion haul. So before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you could share the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so with that being said, I'm just putting some... Hold on. Sorry about that. I have my cat scratching at my door, trying to get in. And now I'm rolling around in a bag. Okay, so anyway, I'm just using this hand sanitizer, which is the cucumber melon. It smells really good. And I just like to smell, I guess, like cucumber. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into this haul. And again, I will be posting it on both of my channels. I've showed this in a video, it was a large haul, but I like to separate the video so that way you get to see, you know, a better view of what I have here. And I cannot stand my black desk. Oh, it gets on my nerves with this, my cat. Okay, so while I'm taking all of this off my desk, cause you know she has to jump on here, let's do this haul. So we'll start with this one. And here she comes. Just give it a minute. She's going to jump. So I know to move her. And there she is. You think you could get out of the way though? Slide over. Stay. There's my cat. Diva, this video is not about you today. I like you, but you in my way. How you want me to show this? Come in. This is Diva. Come here. Show them. Show them how pretty you are. Show them your pretty face. This is her pretty little face. <laughs> it's not your time. I had all day with you. Get the peepish. Get the peepish. Okay, let me move her because she's. That's how cute she is. <laughs> but no more. Let's see. Okay, sorry about that. Let me do this again. No, go. Go lay down. She has her own little bed and she wants to jump on the desk. Now she wants out. Hold on one second. I think she's in her terrible twos. But she's like... I've had her for 10 years, maybe a little longer. So she's in her 50s in cat life. Or human life, whatever it is. She's a little old cat, but she can drive you crazy. Okay, so back to this. Sorry about the interruptions. Um, creative Devotion, 14 pieces, embellishments. Original price was 4 Let's see if I can find another one with that price. Um... So when they're a dollar twenty-four, the regular regular price is four ninety-nine, and then they mark it a dollar twenty-four. So this is a different item I'll be showing you later, but for now it's just the creative devotion. I am gonna go ahead and open it because I do want to use it in the next video. So let me just show you the back. I don't know if they're stickers. I just know they're embellishments. There, it might be stickers. I have no idea. But I do want to tear it apart and open it. Because I have to have everything open. I didn't even need to tear it apart. Seriously. It just opened on the bottom. <laughs> anyway. So this one says, I have loved with an everlasting love. And it's just cardstock. Ooh. Ask, seek, and knock. That's very pretty. Just the journaling card, but I love it. It's watercolored and it's like little fake washi. Um, he must become greater. I must become less. Faithful. That's pretty. And then light shines in the darkness. And we just did the light, like I think two months ago, for scripture writing. So now I'm going to put these back in here since I know I didn't have to tear the bag open to get it. That's because my beautiful cat over there wants to 
be center of attention. Okay, so where is the opening at? Now that I have the bag open, I can't find the opening. Okay, there we go. So that is all of those. And you only get 14, so it's not much. Um, I can show you this one as well, because it is... Which I don't understand why I opened it the way I did. But yeah. There's an opening back here. And a gorgeous little flower. And then just a circle punch. Um, your grace is sufficient. A star. A heart. Another heart. That's cute. Oh, I love that one. Which way would it go? Like, would it go? I guess it would go that way, right? And then last is an arrow. So that's all you get in there. I think it was well worth a dollar twenty-four. I mean, I wouldn't have paid five dollars for this, right? What would it be? I think five, four ninety-nine. I wouldn't have done that, but I would have paid a dollar twenty-four like I did. So they only had one, so I did grab that one. The next one I did grab two, four ninety nine. I was looking for the price for that. So four ninety nine up again, a dollar twenty four. They're both the same, and all of the stickers inside here are the same. There's no difference. It's by American Crafts, and so you have your crosses, your hearts, your Bibles to read, to pray, to do. And then all these little beautiful ones. And then Amen, Remember, and Today. You do get five sheets each of 465 stickers. And that times it by two. So you have 10 sheets at what? 10, 12, 13. Carry the one. 930 stickers. It's not bad. But, and again, they were only $1.24. This one I would have paid the five dollars because you're getting five sheets at four hundred and sixty-five. <coughs> so that is that one. The last one for the creative devotion, I cannot wait to use this, is the war binder. So it's thirty-four ninety-nine. I got it for only eight dollars and twenty-four cents. And this whole line is creative devotion by American Crafts. So in here, and I will take it apart to show you, you get five booklets. So I think having ten booklets in here will not make it full. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, over full. I wish I had booklets in front of me. Um, I had a journal. I don't know, my room's like a hideous mess today. I have not had time to take care of my room. But yeah, I should have a journal in front of me. Oh, actually I do. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, once I open it and show you, I knew I had one because I just did this one. I'm going to show you from here. There's tons of booklets in here, and I'm going to add them to here to see how they look. How full I can get it. So anyway, you get a planner, a prayer book, a study book, a scripture book, and a praise book. So with these books, I'm going to be using them as they are. So study book, Bible study, scriptures, scripture writing, praise, you know, as it says, prayer, as it says in planner. Uh, I'm on the fence with that one because I have tons of planners. But it's a gorgeous book. Believe me, it's gorgeous. And for the price... I would never have paid the $34.99 for a Traveler's Notebook because you could buy the inserts for like $3 each. They're eight. I would pay definitely the $8.74. But you get six pieces total, five books plus this, and you get a tassel and a cross. And then this is just the war binder. So let's go in inside here. So it's a beautiful color. It looks like a gold. There's only one little scuff. It could have been when I opened it originally. And then it has the cross. 
in the tassel. And I love how they did the green. It looks very pretty together. Um, let me lift it up just a bit. Okay, so this is how it looks. It's a standard size. This one here is the Webster's. I think it's platinum or some, something like that. But let's see the size wise. This is the Webster's and look how full that is. This is the American Crafts. Five books in here. And it looks like you could put plenty more. But it's pretty much the same size height wise. It's pretty much the same, same width wise. So let's check this out. So you have the pretty gold elastic. It's a little dark gold. And it's pretty thick as well. So that's nice. Um, when you open it up, you have two pockets. So you have this one and that one. I will do a comparison video compared to this one and this one. Um, the Webster's as it's full. Because I think that would be best. It does say Philippians 4, 6 on the bottom. These are your tabs for your praise, your scripture, your prayer, your planner, and study. And tells you how to do it. Um, it seems like good quality. You get a secretarial pocket in the back. So here, okay, so it's white with gold. And your elastics are gold. So your first book says, do it all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10.31. It lets you know this is your planner. So each book will tell you what it is. And it's all just graph paper. Every book is, I believe, graph. So that is nice. And I love the way they corner around it each page. And then this is your back cover. It says creative devotion. Your next one says read, pray, and repeat. So what is this? It's your prayer book. So you would write down all your prayers and what your prayers are for people. This is the this is one of the elastics. No, that's the second elastic. This is the first elastic. Here's your second. And again, graph paper. The graph seems like it's a really decent sized graph as well. What a good color. The paper does not look white. It looks like a grayish color. And then your back cover. And the quality of the covers are nice. Um, are they stapled or sewn on? All the books are stapled in the middle, which I will take apart and show you. God is Love, 1 John 4, 8. This is your study book. And again, graph paper, same color. That is your back cover, so it kind of matches your front. And then it just says Creative Devotion in the pretty green. Abide in His Word, John 15, 7. This is your scripture book. And again, graph paper. This is the elastic four, and then that's your polka dots, which matches. And then that's the back, creative devotion. And the last one says, give thanks to the Lord, 1 Chronicles 16.34. And again, this is your praise. Again, graph paper, and that is the back cover. Look how pretty that is. So then you have your back pocket, which is very decent. Love that. And a nice pen loop. Okay, so let's go ahead and take these apart. I just gotta remember which book goes to where. It says it in the back anyway. So, and you see how thick these elastics are. Are pretty decent size. So what I'm gonna do is move these to the back. And then I will do a setup video of setting up this, you know, one, once I am ready. So I'm keeping them in order, so I don't have a hard time trying to figure this out. So I just want to show you the shell of this. And then I might need jump in, so... Unless my other one has it. So you get five. Five elastic. No, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's only five bucks. So that's pretty cool. And then this is... All your elastics and then your back 
for that. And it's gold with the white again. So what I'm going to do is look in here. Oh, I have this here. I might put... I have another gold elastic attached to my little tassel here that I made. Um, let me find it. Okay. So this I will add eventually to it. It's the same color gold almost. And I just added that. And on the opposite side is that. I do want to change some charms out. And then this is just how this one looks. So you have that with the secretarial, the, the back pocket, and then just a whole bunch of books and a whole bunch of stuff. So this is what we're going to try. What is this? Oh, I didn't even know I had stencils back there. Wow. Okay. So let's do this. Let's figure this out. I don't want the video to be too long on you. This is 16 minutes in already. So we're going to take the first book. And let's see what else can we take. This is not on a jump in. I'm looking to see if I have any jump ins in here. And I do. Okay. So we're going to see how many books we can fit in here without having an issue. Okay. So these are all the books. There's one more book in here. I don't have any more jump ins in there. Where are my jump ins? You know, I lost my jump ins. Okay. Maserati is going crazy today. Don't mind her. She's having a long day today. Okay, so wherever the jump band is, we're only going to be able to do probably... I'm going to do it without the bands, but I'm going to show you how it looks. Okay, so we'll do these two books. What a, oh, this one has the jump end. So we're going to take this book, add it to this book, and all you're going to do is, this already is in the book, all you're going to do is take this, like this, you're sliding it into the middle so you can jump it. And what you're going to do is go in between the one book. So you still have room to put another book. I wish I had jump in, but I don't know where they're at. So this book is supposed to go with this book together. Okay. And again, I'm just doing it without the jump ins. Because remember, there's six elastics. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this one since there's six elastics. So that's already one plus a pocket, two, here's the back of that pocket, three plus this, that's four, right? So that's not even nothing yet. Okay, so that's four. Now... And there's only three strands on this side and three strands on this side. So now we're going to add this book, which is my Bible journaling. Um, here is the elastic. I'm just going to wrap it in there. Grab this book. What I'm trying to do is have all of my new books inside here with my old books. And see how that works out. There's that one, so it's two more, so that's six, right? So we have one, two, plus a pocket, losing stickers there, three, plus this pocket, four, it was four, right? Let me do it again. I'm trying to not to make this long. One, two, pocket. Three, my cat. Four, Diva, no. Diva, seriously. I'm telling you, she has to be attention today. Four, two, three, four, five. 
six. Six books, and there was only five originally. And still decent. You do get where the books, and I've noticed that in every setup, some of your books are taller than others. Like longer, not taller. So they do stick out just a little bit. So these books are totally different size than these. So just so you know. But if you do fill this up, it will start to like move into the middle. And then I have one more elastic. So that is this one. And I did take them out of order. So that's seven books in here and still have room to grow. So if I were just to stick these two books in here, that's what I'm trying to see. There are seven, eight, nine books in here. And I think you can you can grow another. See how what I'm saying? Like the book. Once it's on elastic, it's a little bit better because it'll hold it in. But yeah, there's nine books in here and it feels great. But I'm going to keep it, you know, with some pockets and all that. So that is just what I wanted to show you. Um, Plano was first. Okay. So this one could come out. Take this one off. So I'm just going to put it back to where it was. So yeah, you can definitely get quite a few books in here. You could possibly have ten books in here. Five, jump in, you know, five, and you'll be good to go. So, yes, yeah, so let me take this out. So, this is my video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment, share. Let me know what you think, and, yeah. Okay, so I need this thing because I messed them all up. <laughs> I called myself putting it together. So, again... Give it a big thumbs up. That's my cat, Diva. She's always in the way. And yeah, I'll talk to you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that post notification bell. Bye-bye.